Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try these products out for you so you have a better idea of what to buy, and more importantly, what not to buy. Today I am back with a review for Ecosis Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder. Got it right here. I got it right there. Let's stick around and let's get it. 34 bucks for this powder. It is a hydrating, sheer setting and smoothing powder. Something kind of different on the market. It's supposed to give skin a smooth, diffused, natural, and blurred look. There are 10 shades available. I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but 10 shades available. I have this in the shade Comfy. It's so comfy. Cruelty free, vegan, gluten free, plastic packaging. They are working on a sustainable resin type of packaging, they said, but then 2020 happened. So that probably threw a wrench into it. I'm gonna run through the scorecard. It's five quick questions. I'm covering everything from ingredients to demos, wear tests, tips, all the rest of it, all in under 10 minutes. I purchased this product, so you're getting my honest review here. If you find reviews like this helpful and you wanna keep seeing more of them, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It takes two seconds and it makes a huge difference. So thank you, thank you, thank you. They do partner with TerraCycle. Just wanna throw that out there. They do partner with TerraCycle. First up, ingredients. So this formula starts as a mousse, not an animal, but you know what I mean. It's baked down from the mousse to create an ultra fine layer of sheer pigment is what they say. There were a lot of oil of absorbing ingredients up top on the list. And then there were a lot of hydrating pieces to the puzzle here and they were baked into this, which I might've heard before, but really not explained this way. And I found it fascinating and you could tell, but I'll talk about that in a second. I didn't see red flags, but just because I didn't see them doesn't mean they won't irritate your personal skin. So what works for me might not work for you. Do check out the ingredients list as I always recommend. And let's move on to the next question, which is about coverage. How is coverage and application? It's supposed to be that no mess sheer powder, feels like nothing. That was absolutely true. That stood up to the claim. The thing about this powder is I needed to break the seal on the powder, which sounds a little weird. This has happened to me before, and I don't necessarily know if it's because of the powder. Maybe there's some leftover oils or some product on that brush, but I don't wanna have to use a net new, clean, super duper clean brush every time I use it. What I did was just sort of scrape off really lightly that top layer. That's when I started being able to pick up more powder. That's when I started to see more coverage. Gave some pretty solid coverage. The fact that there are 10 shades available here feels like a complexion coverage product when you have that many shades. That's kind of where I'm seeing this fit in. If you're thinking it's just a loose setting powder, I think it goes well beyond that. It evened out pretty nicely. Did give some diffusion. I'm gonna talk about that in finish in a second. Overall for coverage, it received four out of five. Next up, finish. How was the overall finish? Supposed to give that smooth, blurred look. Supposed to kind of diffuse it all out, help the pores look minimized, whatever. I think it did a really good job there once I got more product on. It did not look cakey and it did not dry out my skin. I say that emphatically because some setting powders especially when they have things like cornstarch or something, they can dry my skin out like crazy. So again, this is more of a hydrating powder, which seems like it doesn't align. I liked how the finish didn't look powdery here. It let the glow come through. And I used this quite a bit with the Say products. So the tinted moisturizer, the slip tint. I also loved using this with just the Say sun visor, which has less of a tint. And then this provided the coverage on top. I just found a ton of different uses for it because it gave this wonderful natural finish and it was very easy to apply. Overall for finish, it received four out of five on the scorecard. Does it control shine? It's supposed to sweep away shine and still have skin look like skin. It did that. It did that absolutely. On a scale of one to 10, was the shine controlled totally? No. I would say it's more about the diffusion, less about really kind of mattifying anything that you had on your skin. I happen to really like that combination. It received a four out of five on the scorecard. Finally, for wear test, because it is so lightweight and sheer, depending Depending on what I had underneath, the glow would kind of come out. So diffusion, yes, but then throughout the day when my natural oils would come out on the skin, I would want to reapply. And if you have more oil production on your skin, you're gonna probably want to refresh it midway through the day. That's my best guess. If you have this and you have oily skin, let us know how it's worked for you. Wear test received a three out of five on the scorecard. Total score here was a 15 out of 20. And now it's time for my final verdict. Would I recommend it to a friend? Would it make the Brits pick sky? Will it be a favorite? I'm a little on the fence there, so I'm not sure. But I could see myself continuing to reach for it, and I really liked it. 
even though I haven't been reaching for powders or powder foundations, this product is probably going to be the one that could change that. So stay tuned and we'll see if it makes it into my favorites. Sure. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will be right back here real soon. Until then, 